Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Say left, right. It's cold outside. It's really cold. What? What? That's good. Find me some warm clothes. You a hot mess. Find your deodorant and get yourself together, sir. I am. All right, all right. It's just on my yeah, they're not going to come off. That's why I tell y'all about running, I mean, sliding in that grass. Hello, everybody. Your girl's got to get ready for today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, y'all, my finger is hurting and the band-aids are oh. not helping. Yeah, it's cold here. We had a cold front come in, but y'all, my fingers are like, that's what I got off. Remember I was showing y'all the other day, and then I got this one. I can't win for lose. And they sore. My hands are sore. Amber, I made your steak sandwich so good. Did you make it the way I made it or Mr. Perry made it? Because I recommend making it the way I make it. It is so amazing. Mr. Perry doesn't like to heat his up, but if you take the meat and you put it in the skillets, right? Tear it up because you want it to be like, oh, funny. Thank you, son. And then what you want to do is, you know, let it cook. And when it's like almost there... Me personally, I would saute the onions and bell peppers and butter. I know, I know the calories are not good, but for a steak sandwich, you got to go all in or it just ain't the same. So what you want to do is saute that first. Make your onions real small because I don't like onions like that. I'm sorry. I think I prefer purple onions over the white. It's just something about them white onions. I just can't get over it in my brain. Okay. So... What you want to do is, after you do all that, go on and do that steak in there and get it all fried together. It is the best. Don't just lay it up there like no lunch meat, because that is not lunch meat. You do not eat that stuff raw. Me, personally, you don't. Why butter? Because it's so good. Butter makes it just, like, juicy. <laughs> hey, Amber, get you some liquid band. I have some, y'all, and that stuff burns, like burns, burns. Good morning, everybody. I know it's not morning. It's already 11 o'clock. I already hung up the, my dark clothes. I've already took me a nice long shower. I've already cleaned up the house. I got the towels washing. Your girl was up and getting it today. Good morning, Miss Amber. I sent you a message. Uh, Miss Maggie, I'll go see if I can find it, okay? I will. Yeah, I don't like onions. I've always hated onions. Amber, try Band-Aid. Hydro seal, they work great. Them cuts will stop hurting. I'm gonna have to provolone cheese. I like provolone cheese, but it's just so like it's a lot. My nana's good, good. My nana's at home. Hey, Miss Keiko. And uh, how are you, Amber? I'm good. I'm doing really good. Trying to figure out what my day's gonna be because it's cold. And I need to go and break this. Fast with something to eat because the girl's hungry today. I really am. I haven't ate since last night. And last night I have a half a burger. I am hungry. Like hungry, hungry. Hey, Miss Tina. Hey, Miss Carol. Hey, Miss Jolie. Hey, Miss Denise. I can see you, Miss Marvel, a day. Hey, Miss Vicky. But since the weather is pretty outside, I want to let my hair down. I don't want to put it up today because I've been getting headaches. Uh, Marcus says, what are you going to eat? I don't know yet, but I want something. I want something, and I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want, but I want something. What's want something. I want something. 
Hey, Miss Aline Williamson. Hey. So, yeah, that's what my day is. Y'all, Nancy is giving me a run for my money, and I don't know what to do because, y'all, she, she does good all day long, right? At night, she tears up the pads, and I don't know why she picked up this behavior because she's never done it before. Hey, Miss Heidi. She's never tore pads. And now it's like she only does it at night. And I don't know if it's because she's playing and, and to her, she's having a good time. So she's just making a mess. I don't know what's going on, my dog. Having your hair up too tight gives you headaches. I think that's what it is. I've been leaving up. Hey, Miss Laverne Smith. Hey, Miss Tiffany. I love y'all's name. I wish I had like, and I'm not saying nothing bad to the Ambers because I love y'all's names too. I just wish I had like a spontaneous name. Like when I walk in, people would know like, like Bubblicious or something. You know what I mean? Like I want one of them like exotic names. My mom and them named me like Amber. I want to be like Bubblicious or something. There goes Bubblicious. <laughs> Shit, I would have took Big Bertha. You know what I mean? I like that name. I think that name is a hell of a name. Big Bertha. That's what my truck is. My truck's name is Big Bertha, and I talk to her every day. I do. I ain't even going to sit here a lot of y'all. I sit out there. I let her know what we about to get into. I love that little old truck. And she's big, so I'd be like, Big Bertha, you ready? You know what I mean? I wish I had a name like that, like something spontaneous. How do y'all eat so much toothpaste? My kids go through toothpaste like it's water. I promise y'all they do. You was given the name Coco Puff. I like that name too, but like, I need something a little bit more exciting. Like, I don't know. Bubbles. I don't know. I want, I want a fun name. Girl, I feel you on that. I, I don't not like Miss Amber. I, I don't not like, like, I don't hate my name. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> but like, it's just like plain. It's like Amber. It's like five words. Give me something like she got like, like, give me something I can work with and I can stand up to. Okay. Bubblicious and X, Y, and Z. -ish. You know what I mean? When people be like, what's your name is? I don't even know. If wearing your hair down doesn't help your headaches, try going to. Okay, I love you and your family. Enjoy watching you and the dogs. Thank you, Miss Christina. I don't know. I just got to figure. I, I don't know. I need to change my name. Amber Perry. I'm going to be called Bubbles. Mom. Yes. I need a brush. You need a brush? Well, you're going to have to... What you need is some clothes on. Go find you a shirt. Don't walk around my house with no clothes on. Go. This is not your uh, thing, you sir. Go. My name is horrible pronounced Celest. 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 I like that name. I think I could work with that. Like, ooh, Miss Patsy. I know I would say her name wrong, but she, her last name was Two Shit. Two Shit. And I would always say Two Shit. Like, I think that is a, man, imagine being three, um, like five or six in school and the, the teacher be like, what is your name? My name, my name is Amber Two Shit. <gasps> she said a bad word. You know what I mean? I like that. Like, I like that AJ supposed to like. Connie said, how about sassy ass for your name? I like that name too. Yeah, Miss Brenda, boo's feeling good. Your name matches your attitude and your fairy personality. Amber means spark of fire. Okay, see, I like that. But why can't I just have the spark of fire? You know what I mean? I like Amber. It's just that it's a very just like, it's a very common name. And there's a lot of Ambers out here and it doesn't set me apart. I need a name like... Bubblicious. You know what I mean? Like, girl, her name is Bubblicious. Her mama must have been chewing bubblegum. You know what I mean? I need something that, they're like, sensitive. Like, I mean, I just wish my family would have put a little bit more thought into my name. You know, that's all I'm saying. 
Missy said, been watching for almost two years and love that you keep it real and how real life. I even talked, I even talked my husband into getting our fourth dog by showing your video. She needed a friend. I know that's right, Miss Misty. Let them know your dog needs a friend. I'm telling you. Now, I'm be honest with you, man. You get your dog a friend, they forget about you. They do. And I'm, I'm being honest. Nancy ain't got time for me no more. Like the, like me and her were like this, and now we like this. And pops, that new dog don't. That new dog today, like he kisses you, but other than that, he, he ain't got time for you. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling a little type of way towards her. You know what I mean? Because how you gonna switch up on me? Because I thought we were cool, but it's cool. You got your little friend now. You don't, you ain't, you don't got time for your mom. Wait till your ass needs some eggs and uh pumpkin again, okay? We're going to see how much little popsicle-looking thing over there can help her. Okay, we're going to see if popsicle can help her. Because popsicle is nuts. Popsicle is, is like just a regular dog. He has a no personality. He is the most laziest thing in the world. He doesn't even get up to greet you. I hope he's going to grow out of it, but maybe it's because he's a baby. I don't know. But that dog is horrible. <laughs> if you wanted a dog for affection and that's just not him. He's not picking up no other duties besides being a dog. Okay. I am being honest. That dog is not an emotional support animal. He is a dog, a dog dog. Okay. <laughs> I am not lying. That dog makes you feel crazy. That dog make you stand there and be like, I don't even care if he likes me or not. Forget about that dog. That dog there, I don't, I've never had a dog like him. I have never, I've never in my life had a dog like that dog. Never. That dog there is the most weirdest little dog I've ever seen in my life. He just don't care for humans. He's just a dog's dog. He's not a human's dog. You can't go back. Can't. Mike, and that's being honest. That Yeah, he's cute, but he sure is not affectionate. That dog there is like, oh, he uses us just for food, and that's it. He don't even care to get up and greet us. That dog is so, and he watches Nancy, right? And Nancy will come over there, and her and Mr. Perry should wag her tail, whatnot. He'll wag his tail. Mr. Perry bends down to grab that little dog, takes off. I said, I told you that dog's a traitor. See, I can go back. I think we live in with a snake in our house. Look at him. Look at the little fella watch him. Look, look. That's all he want to do. He want to lay up there and let Nikki be his, I mean, Nancy be his mom. Look. Popsicle. 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 Look at him. He, he don't even care. Popsicle. Pops, mama's boy, where is a handsome boy? Nancy come play with you, but not Pops. Look at Pops. He's like, hi there, handsome. Hi, handsome. Looking like somebody forgot to take off your makeup. You cute, though. You're cute. But you show, you show lazy. No, Popsicle. Look at his face, y'all. He looks like he has some makeup. Hi, Popsicle. She said a person has to buy stars to say a name. I don't even got no stars, and I, I say names all the time. I don't even get stars, baby. I don't, and it's okay with me, because I don't need to be tips. I, I don't need all that. I say the names that I see that come across my screen. But if I don't see your name, there's nothing I can do. So don't ever think it's just because of the stars. Because I don't even get stars, and I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. How have you, have you had, hey, wait, have you had him tested? Maybe he came here. That's what happened to my grandson's dog, and he was that he couldn't hear. Y'all, there's no way to test your dog to get him if he can hear. They say if he claps, he can hear. Y'all don't argue with that lady. Why does... I don't know why they filter people's comments out. I don't know. I can't tell you because I really don't know. I just know that that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. 
But it's just it is what it is. Pops could be a big papa. I don't know what pops is. Pops a pops is lazy. That dog has and scary. That little dog right there is so scary. It's on the real ladies. That little dog right there is so scary, it's unreal. I mean, big scary. Let uh, let Ozzy bark, the little dog just pees everywhere and runs. I mean, both feet in the back. Got to get up there to run. <coughs> uh, thank y'all ladies for the stars, but y'all really don't have to send them. Miss Penny, that is not true. Nobody has to send stars for me to mention their names. That is not true. Why does everybody try to make me seem like a bad person? I'm like, I don't get up here and I don't ask nobody for nothing. I just get up here to enjoy my time with my ladies. That's it. That's all. There's no in between. That's it. We we just want to have a good time. They say he's just a little baby. Give him a little bit more time. They said Pops is living up to his name. I know that's right, Miss Star. He's going to pop lock and drop it somewhere, but he ain't going to do it over here. This hair is a mess. Can I vacuum? You sure can get the vacuum. Uh, Miss Tani, thank you. She said, I love walking, rocking with you. Hey, Miss Nicole. Kim, I'm not trying to make you feel like a bad person. I love you. I just don't understand why my name is never seen. But I still love your family. Oh, uh, Miss Kim, I'm sorry I don't see your comments. It's not my fault. I only can see what's on my end. I promise you that. Y'all, I don't think people understand, like, why would I not say your name? You know what I mean? Like, what would make me not want to say your name? To make you feel bad? That's not me. You know, if you know my personality, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. I can't help it what I can't see. Oh, thank you, Miss Sylvia. She said I'm a star. I'm going to be a bubblicious star. And do something. Not my head. Oh. All right, y'all going to have to meet me at Mr. Perry's in about five minutes because I got to take this phone call. Meet me over there. I love y'all.